Hi all, welcome to another video of the subject power system analysis uh, based on the KTU syllabus and we are on module 5 and today we are going to discuss some problems from module 5. So the first one is the fuel inputs per hour of plants 1 and 2 are given by F1 is equal to 0.2 P1 square plus 40 P1 plus 120 rupees per hour and F2 is equal to 0.25 P2 square plus 30 P2 plus 150 uh, rupees per hour. Determine the economic operating schedule and the corresponding cost of generation if the maximum and the minimum loading on each unit is 100 megawatt and 25 megawatt. Maximum loading is 100 and minimum is 25. The demand is 180 megawatt and the transmission loads are neglected. If the load is equally shared by both the units, determine the saving obtained by loading the units as per equal incremental production cost so this is the function if you will put a uh, function we are having here and uh, for optimum load dispatch we must know that the df1 by dp1 should be equal to df2 by dp2 okay so for that first we have to differentiate the equation f1 and f2 F1 with respect to P1 and F2 with respect to P2. So if you are uh, differentiating, we will get DF1 by DP1 as 0.4 P1 plus 40 rupees per megawatt hour. Okay, rupees per megawatt hour. And uh, DF2 by DP2 is equal to 0.5 P2 plus 30 rupees per megawatt hour. That is just we are uh, taking the uh, differential of each function. That's all. Okay. And we are getting uh, two equations and for economic operation of the units this uh, incremental production cost that is df1 by dp1 should be equal to df2 by dp2 and if you are substituting that values here 0.4 p1 plus 40 is equal to 0.5 p2 plus 30 and uh, this is equation number one okay this one is equation number one and we are having another equation uh, based on p1 and p2 that is p1 plus p2 will be equal to 190 that is the maximum loading okay here it is given the demand is 180 megawatt so p1 plus p2 is equal to 180 so we are having two equations with the p1 and p2 as variable so uh, we can simply solve these two equations and from that we can find p1 as 88.89 megawatt p2 as 91.11 megawatt okay and uh, the cost of generation we have to substitute these values of p1 and p2 in the equation of f1 and f2 and we will get f1 and f2 as uh, simply substituting the equation uh, value of p1 and p2 we will get f1 and f2 as uh, 5255.88 and f2 as 4958.55 per hour and the total cost will be by simply adding this f1 and f2 we will get 1000 uh, 10000 to 14.43 per hour okay so this is the total cost and uh, uh, in the last of the question and they have uh, sh uh, shown that the if the load is equally shared by both the units okay then we have to uh, determine the saving obtained by loading the units as per equal incremental production cost so here now we have uh, distributed the load based on the equal incremental production cost but what happens if we are equally dividing the loads that is total 180 megawatt we are having here so if you are dividing that uh, 94 one plant and 94 and the plant what will happen that is p1 is uh, 90 and p2 is 90 so if you are substituting that p1 as 90 and p2 is 90 in these equations f1 and f2 we will get f1 as 5340 per hour rupees 5340 per hour and f2 as 4875 per hour and by simply adding this 10,205 per hour so in the early case if you are using the incremental production cost equation we are getting the total cost as 1,024.43 per hour for 3 per hour here it is 1,025 per hour so the saving will be 1,025 minus 1,214.43 that is around rupees 0 0.57 per hour we can save by using the method by using the incremental production cost by considering the incremental production cost of all the plants okay so uh, that's about this question and the next question is a tuber system is shown in figure uh, 
if a load of 125 megawatt is transmitted from plant 1 to the load a loss of 15.65 megawatt is incurred determine the generation schedule and the load demand if the cost of received power is rupees 24 per megawatt hour okay that is we are treating that as uh, the term lambda lambda is 24 here okay and solve the problem using coordination equations and the penalty factor method approach the incremental production cost of the plants are bf1 by dp1 bf1 by dp1 is equal to 0 0.025 p1 plus 15 bf2 by dp2 is equal to 0 0.05 p2 plus 20 and this is our uh, figure okay so uh, from the figure itself the load is at bus 2 alone okay that is here you can see the load is connected to the uh, bus 2 okay that is near to the uh, generator p2 okay so uh, since the load is at bus 2 alone therefore the losses in this line will not be affected by generator of plant 2 okay generator of plant 2 that is it is nearby it is nearby the plant 2 so the transmission loss and all we can neglect the okay losses can be neglected and uh, we know the equation for PL will be equal to P1 and B1 known into P1 square. Okay. And uh, actually how that comes, uh, that is we have uh, already learned the equation PL. Okay. Equation PL is equal to sigma M sigma N PM BMN pn okay this is the loss formula okay that we know so here the values of m is equal to n is equal to 2 okay is equal to 2 and uh, the pl can be uh, rewritten as that is p1 okay m is equal to uh, and n is equal to 2 okay so we can write we can simply write PL is equal to okay, you can simply write PL is equal to sigma m is equal to 1 2 2 sigma n is equal to 1 2 2 pm bm and pn okay and from that we can uh, write okay we can write the equation for low low equation for PL is equal to p1 okay p11 P1 plus P2 B21 P1 plus okay plus P1 B12 P2 plus P2 B22 P2 okay by simply elaborating that sigma and all okay here so here uh, the PL will become PL will be equal to b11 into p1 square okay p1 square into b1 the all other terms will be zero uh, will be zero okay because uh, the b21 okay b21 uh, b12 b22 all will be equal to zero okay so we will get only get the equation for pl okay equation for pls pls p1 square into b11 okay that you can see here PL is equal to B1 and P1 square as B1 to uh, B2 is equal to 0 that we know okay so PLS loss is it is given as loss is 15.65 megawatt and uh, P1 okay P1 is uh, 125 125 megawatt the question it is given as P1 it is 125 megawatt okay So by simply substituting the values and all, we will get B1 known as 0 0.001 and uh, uh, now we are writing the coordination equation as BOF1 by DP1 plus lambda dou PL by dou P1 is equal to lambda. So here uh, the PL, PL we know, okay, PL we know it is uh, 0 0.001 into P1 square, okay, 
that is b1 into b1 square b1 is 0 0.001 and uh, dpl by dp1 okay dpl by dp1 is equal to uh, 0 0.002 p1 okay that is if you are uh, differentiating that value with respect to p1 pl is 0 0.001 p1 square so dpl by dp1 is equal to 2 into 0 0.02 into it will become 2 into 0 0.001 p1 okay so like that so we will get 0 0.002 into p1 so substituting in the coordination equation for plant 1 we get okay that is df1 by dp1 df1 by dp1 is it is given in the question as 0 0.025 p1 plus 15 okay 0 0.025 p1 plus 15 plus lambda into dou pl by dou p1 okay lambda into dou pl by dou p1 is 0 0.002 p1 so you can see here is equal to lambda so here lambda yeah, it is given in the question itself it is given as rupees 24 per megawatt hour so we are uh, selecting the lambda as 24 and substituting that here and uh, from that the only unknown is p1 okay so p1 is obtained as 123.28 megawatt and uh, from the coordination equation of plant 2 also okay plant 2 also plant 2 bf2 by dp2 is equal to 0 0.05 p2 plus 20 okay is equal to um, uh, also uh, uh, we will get it as 0 0.05 p2 plus 20 is equal to 24 or p2 is equal to 80 megawatt so here uh, in this equation actually the this dou pl by dou p1 okay so here for the plant 2 it will be dou pl by dou p2 dou pl by dou p2 will be zero that is in the uh, starting cases uh, we have already discussed that the losses in the line okay will not be affected by the generator of plant 2 because it is connected to the uh, the load is connected near the plant 2 okay that is to the second bus so uh, we can write that dou pl okay dou pl by dou p2 will be equal to zero so df2 by okay df2 by dp2 df2 by dp2 is equal to lambda here df2 by dp2 is equal to lambda we will get that is the second coordination equation so 0 0.05 p2 plus 20 is equal to 24 from that p2 is 80 megawatt so the transmission loss pl okay pl is uh, 0 0.001 okay 0 0.001 into p1 square b1 is 0 0.001 and p1 we will obtain it as 123.28 by simply substituting that we will get pl is equal to 15.19 megawatt and uh, load PD total load PD is equal to okay, total uh, generated is 123.28 plus 80 minus this loss that is 15.19 so we'll get the load as uh, 198.1 megawatt okay and we can also uh, do the same the same problem using the penalty factor method okay either you can use this method or this method so uh, we know that the penalty factor will be equal to 1 by 1 minus dou PL by dou P1 dou pl by dou p1 uh, we know that dou pl by dou p1 is equal to 0 0.002 to p1 so uh, we are substituting that 1 by 1 minus 0 0.002 to p1 and uh, substituting in the first coordination equation okay that is uh, we know that df1 by dp1 into uh, 1 by 1 minus dou pl by dou p1 is this value so we are substituting that here okay substituting by simply arranging the coordination equation we will get uh, already we have uh, discussed in the previous videos that is df1 by dp1 into 1 by 1 minus do pl by do p1 is equal to uh, lambda okay so that equation we can see here and from that uh, df1 by dp1 we know what is df1 by df1.025 uh, p1 plus 15 we are substituting that value here and uh, from that we will obtain the equation for that is the value for p1 as 123.28 megawatt okay similarly uh, for a second case also okay uh, dpl by dp2 okay dpl by dp2 is zero for a second case so df2 by dp2 okay df2 by dp2 is equal to lambda Okay, and the value of uh, 
that is the penalty factor for the second case okay that is uh, instead of this uh, dou pl by dou p1 we will write dou pl by dou p2 dou pl by dou p2 will be zero okay that is the penalty factor will become one by one that is unity so the incremental cost of received power equals the incremental cost of production okay so we can write 0 0.05 p2 plus 20 is equal to 24 from that p2 is 80 megawatt okay so either uh, this equation this step or we can use the penalty factor method okay i hope all of you understand the uh, problem well uh, so thank you